using this video, you'll be able to identify and solve one type of problem that causes student mass enrollment to come to a grinding halt during live side scheduling. Here's the situation. You're an administrative assistant. You've created all of the necessary homeroom and subject course sections for one of the two classes of grade six French immersion at your school. You've also entered the dependent section codes from the Excel workbook into this group's section of English language arts, the parent course. Now you're ready to select and mass enroll this group of students. Will the power school genie make good on his promise that using dependent sections will save you time? It's mid-August. So the rollover has already occurred. On the Power School Start page, you click on six to see the complete list of students who'll be in grade six in the fall. Next, consulting the class list given to you by the grade five teachers, in the lower right, you click Select by Hand and proceed to select the students who will be in Mrs. Acorn's homeroom. For the purposes of this video, we'll choose only five students. After selecting the appropriate students, you return to the lower right and click Update Selection. The Power School Genie is now waiting to see what you'd like to do with this group of five students. Still down in the lower right, you click the drop down arrow to access the list of group functions. Scrolling down to the scheduling section, you click Mass Enroll. Keep in mind that the quickest way to mass enroll this group of students is by enrolling them into their section of ELA. As you'll recall, ELA is the parent course to which you attached all of the students' other courses as dependent sections. Now, here in the quick enroll, you could enter the course and section code, which in this case would be elaboo60.6a. Elaboo60 is the course code for grade 6 ELA and 6A is the section number which represents this cohort of students, the students in Mrs. Acorn's homeroom. However, entering course and section numbers leaves a lot of room for error. Instead, you go to the filter by section and simply search for this group's ELA teacher. Mrs. Acorn will be teaching ELA to her homeroom students. Next, we'll click Search to see the list of classes taught by Mrs. Acorn. And you select English Language Arts beside Section 6A. The Mass Enrollment Preview page looks promising. On the far left, you see that a number of course names are listed, and on the opposite side of the screen, you see that all of the sections have been found. For the section column, you see 6A all the way down. Pending enrollment count looks good too. You're currently enrolling five of a possible 29 students into these subjects. Just to be certain that Mrs. Acorn's students will be enrolled in all of their courses, you count up the number of courses listed. Mm-hmm, what's going on here? According to the section summary, these students will be enrolled in only eight courses. According to the Dependent Sections Excel Workbook, Grade 6 Immersion students have a total of 12 courses. Where are the other four courses? You can see that the list is missing Art, Music, Phys Ed, and Tech. Did the Power School Genie mislead you regarding the efficiency of dependent sections? You pull yourself together, chiding yourself for doubting the Power School Genie. He's never let you down before. Is it possible you gave the Genie the incorrect information? You decide to begin troubleshooting by confirming that you did indeed create a 6A section for each of the other four courses. 
you decide there's no sense in clicking Enroll Students at the bottom of the page until the Mass Enrollment Preview page tells you that this group of students will be enrolled in ELA as well as their other 11 dependent sections. Rather, on the left-hand side of the page, under Setup, you click School. On the School Setup page, you scroll to the bottom and click on the second-to-last link called Sections. From the Dependent Section Excel Workbook, you've already printed a copy of the list of 12 courses, including Homeroom, taken by Grade 6 French Immersion students. Your plan is to ensure that you did indeed create a 6A section for this cohort for the four specialty subjects. The course following ELA on the list is Art. You know that the language of instruction for this art class will be English. So, although you see the course code for FI Art 6 farther down the page, FFAR Boo 60, you click on Fear Boo 60 Art 6. You're reassured to see that you did indeed create a 6A section of art to be taught in English. You finish clicking on each course code confirming that you did indeed create a 6A section for this cohort for art, music, phys ed, and tech. Hmm, you wonder, what should my next step be in the troubleshooting process? You decide to proceed with double-checking the dependent section codes you attached to the section of ELA for this group of students, elabu 60.6a. You then scroll down and locate the field for the dependent sections. Suddenly, the Power School Genie appears on your screen. He says in a kindly voice, because you didn't lose faith in me and because you've shown such initiative with the troubleshooting process, I'm going to give you a hand. Oh, and by the way, great thinking, beginning by confirming that you did indeed create a 6A section for each of the four specialty subjects. Now I've taken the liberty of copying and pasting all of those course codes here in this list. Think of these as the numbers on different airplanes. In this list on the right, I've copied all of the dependent sections you attach to ELA for 6A. Think of these as the tickets you've given to me to board these different planes. Why don't you pause the video and take a minute to compare the two sets of codes? What's bringing the boarding process, or in this case, the student mass enrollment process, to a grinding halt? When you think you found the problem, click play again. If you concluded that four of the dependent section codes on the tickets don't quite match the course codes on the airplanes, you've got it. The letter in the second position of a course code indicates the language of instruction. You were bang on when you created the courses. In art, music, phys ed, and tech, the letter in the second position is an E. This correctly indicates that these specialty subjects will be taught in English. The problem arises with the dependent section tickets you gave me. By mistake, you copied the codes from the Excel workbook indicating that these four specialty subjects would be taught in French. I had the wrong tickets to board these four planes. After thanking the genie profusely, you return to the course sections page, click ELA 6, and then section 6A. Leaving PowerSchool open, you return to the Dependent Sections Excel Workbook. You then click on the cell containing the codes that indicate Art, Music, Phys Ed, and Tech will be taught in English. You confirm that the section 6A is attached to each of the course codes. Next, you right-click for Options and choose Copy. You return to PowerSchool and paste the dependent section codes into the appropriate field. You remind yourself to click Submit at the bottom. Returning to the Start page, 
you see that the Power School Genie is still faithfully holding on to the group of five students you had selected. In the lower right, you click the drop down arrow, scroll down to the scheduling section, and click Mass Enroll. In the Filter By section, you search for Mrs. Acorn. You then click Search to list the courses taught by Mrs. Acorn. You see English Language Arts beside the code for 6A, so you click English Language Arts. And rejoice! The Enrollment Preview page tells you that this group of students will be enrolled in ELA as well as their other 11 dependent sections for a total of 12 courses. You click Enroll Students. You click play on the video to listen to the congratulations and to give yourself a high five. Congratulations! You persisted through the troubleshooting process, identifying the problem, implementing a solution, and successfully mass enrolling your group of students.